Hey, this is Jay Kelly for the Live to Play Network. Uh, listen, we're going to talk about uh, miking your amplifier. What we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at the speaker. All right? The speaker uh, obviously is made out of several components, the magnet, the coil, the basket. But what we're going to concern ourselves with is the front of the speaker where the sound is projected from. The center of the speaker is the dust cap. This uh, cone is actually called the cone. And then the speaker has a surround and the surround is what attaches the cone to the basket. And from this, the sound is projected out of your amplifier to your audiences and your own ear. And in live applications, typically, you would either use a dynamic microphone or a large diaphragm condenser mic. You might use a ribbon mic, but they're a little fragile and they don't travel well. This is a Shure SM57. This is uh, widely used by sound men, preferred by many. This large condenser microphone is a Shure KSM27. Uh, both these, man, I've had these a long time and they're looking a little road worn, but they both still function the same way that they did when they were brand new. We're going to do some samples using the SM57. And okay, so now let's go back to our uh, speaker here. Now, the sound comes out of the speaker uh, from your, you know, your guitar amplified sound, but uh, where the sound is coming from the speaker sounds differently. If you were to mic the edge of the speaker, it would sound differently than miking the center of the speaker. This amplifier has a single speaker. Some have two speakers. There's combo amps that have three or four speakers. There's some that have speakers of different sizes. Uh, so anyways, what you're going to want to do uh, typically for a live gig is locate at least one of the speakers that you would like to have mic'd. It's not unusual to have two speakers mic'd or to have uh, uh, two separate amplifiers mic'd. Once you locate where the speaker is, you have different options. You can mic towards the edge. You could mic in the middle. You could mic at the center. Or, now, yeah, let's do these options here. So you can mic towards the edge, mic the middle of the cone, or set the mic so it's pointing at the dust cap. Or you could mic at the edge and direct the mic to the dust cap, usually like one or two inches away from the grill cloth of the speaker. Okay, now we're back. Uh, got the guitar. We got the microphone pointed at the speaker about two inches away from the rim at the 90 degree angle uh, to the grill cloth. And uh, let's go ahead and hear how the guitar sounds. How they, how the speaker sounds actually. Okay, now we're going to angle the microphone towards the dust cap. We're going to keep it the same distance away, but we're changing the microphone position. So we're just about the same. The tip of the, the head of the microphone is, 
is looking towards the dust cap and let's hear the same thing. We're going to change the position of the microphone again. This time we're going to move it back so it's perpendicular to the grill cloth. But this time we're going to place it about halfway between uh, the edge of the speaker and the, and the dust cap. And we're going to hear the exact same thing. And now finally we're going to position the microphone uh, and have it pointing directly uh, at the dust cap uh, perpendicular to the grill cloth and we're going to hear how that sounds. Now we have the Shure KSM-27 hooked up. The diaphragm of the microphone is perpendicular to the grill cloth of the amplifier. Let's go ahead and give this a listen. <laughs> Well, there you go. Uh, hopefully you heard in those samples by just moving the microphone a few inches can vastly change the sound. You can use this technique to best capture how you want to express yourself. This is Jake Kelly for the Live to Play Network. We'll talk to you next time.